Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV Brings You The Truth. Welcome guys to another special episode of my video. And in today's video, I am here with the man of God, the highly esteemed Reverend Dr. Chris Uyakilome, and with the man of God, the highly esteemed Pastor Benny Hinn. And in today's video guys, um, these two powerful men of God were together some time ago, and uh, Pastor Chris is the one that is going to be talking. And he's going to be talking about how... Um, the life of the man of God, Pastor Benny Hinn, have changed his life. How his ministry and his book changed his life. You know, I actually saw a video some time ago of a man of God who actually condemned the book of um, the man of God, Pastor Benny Hinn, which I was uh, trying to understand why the man of God would do such. Meanwhile, this book have changed a lot of lives. I'd like you to hear what... Um, the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome, have to say, and how this book changed his life, how the ministry of the man of God, Pastor Ben Hinn, changed his life. And I'll be right back, guys, to share with you the rest of what I have for you. But before that time, please, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And if you have not yet liked this video, this, please hit the like button and like today's video. And also share this video so that others can get to um, hear about the inspiring testimony of the book, and the ministry of the man of God, Pastor Benin. Watch this, and I'll be right back, guys. Watch this. I was trying to know more about the Holy Spirit because I found He was the one behind the wonderful and extraordinary ministry of the apostles and of Jesus and of the prophets of old. So I thought to myself, if I could get to know more about the Holy Spirit and how to relate with Him, I could do the impossible. I knew that the ministry of the gospel could not be preached without the supernatural, without the extraordinary. And especially for our generation, I knew this generation needed proof proof beyond religion proof beyond words I was a young teenager in search wanting to know more about the Holy Spirit in the process of time as I studied I studied lots of materials I was filled with the Holy Spirit I was speaking in tongues I was holding crusades already my first crusade was in 1980. So I was already preaching, but I wanted to know more. Even though I was seeing the blind eyes open, deaf ears unstopped, the lame getting up to walk, I still wanted to know the one behind the miracles. I wanted to know him more than an influence. A few years later, I got a hold of a book titled Good Morning Holy Spirit. I could not drop it. I didn't want the book to finish. I read it and edited it. That you helped me discover with your book. I want to thank you, especially. Thank you. I told you yesterday, there are two reasons you are here in Nigeria at this time. This is not normally a time for us to have a conference like this. I have a conference in two weeks' time in this place for partners and pastors. And they're coming from so many different countries around the world. They will be here. But we have to schedule this. Once you said you would be coming here, I knew I had to get the dates. But there are two reasons. One was what I mentioned yesterday when you prayed for Nigeria. The second one was because God wanted me to have the opportunity to say thank you. All right, my family, there you have it. As the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume, actually shares on how the ministry of the man of God, Pastor Ben Hinn, blessed his life. And you can imagine the last part on what Pastor Chris said. He said the reason why the man of God, Pastor Ben Hinn, was in Nigeria was because and God gave him the opportunity to say thank you for blessing his life and changing his life. 
okay guys now uh, i quickly want to state something for those of you who are coming newly to my channel please hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel so that you can be getting more of my videos and if you have not liked the video please hit the like button and like today's video okay guys um on concerning what pastor please have said and how i have been affected or blessed is that um pastor chris discuss on the facts um concerning on how the book um good morning holy spirit blesses life i talked on in the beginning of this video on how a man of god actually attacked um the man of god pastor benny him why he should be discussing about the holy spirit he said the book is nonsense all right but this is the book that have changed a man like pastor chris who have affected the whole world all right and then a man came out or a pastor came out to say that the book is nonsense that's very bad and i'll still um, keep saying it so the man of god that said this i don't want to mention his name but it's, it's wrong to to say that this book have changed a lot of lives and a lot of people too so i believe guys that you were inspired in today's video and you were blessed so i'd like to hear from you in the comment section concerning what blessed you and then for those of you that are still coming newly into my channel please if you have not liked the video like the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye